Don't really know what to say after that game. United losing 2-0 to Burnley. Old Trafford leaving early. Empty seats everywhere. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer looking out of his fucking depth. That's the worst it's been. And that's the worst it'll get. Or will it? I don't know. Horrendous, horrendous performance. No matter what, yeah, cool, we could have been tuning up in that first half if Matter and Martial take their chances. But United are a bucket of shit. And I'm sorry for swearing. I'm probably going to swear quite a lot in this match reaction. But United are just gash everywhere, all over the pitch, off the pitch, on the pitch. The owners, the CEO, and by the looks of it, the manager. We conceded from a set piece again. Nine in the Premier League we conceded. Now, no team has conceded more. We're sticking with the zonal marking system and every single time it's blowing up in our damn face. What are we doing on the training ground? Surely we're learning from this, but we're not. We're not learning from any mistakes. And yes, we need signings. And yes, we desperately need Bruno Fernandes, but the club is just sitting there trying to save five to ten million pounds because they want the biggest bottom line profit. Whereas United on the pitch are crying out for a player like Bruno Fernandes to come and add a creative spark. But I'll be honest, that's not going to solve anything. That team there, so devoid of any confidence, so bereft of any sort of footballing ability, it seems, that any time we get into a situation where we could pass it forward into a dangerous position through the lines, the player's scared to be the player that makes the mistake. So he turns around and passes it backwards. And they're not going to Solskjaer when we're 2-0 down. Brings off Brandon Williams and James for Lingard and Shaw when Gomez is on the bench. That's almost like a white flag surrender from Solskjaer. What in the hell are you doing? Williams was actually one of our more offensive outlets. And you bring on a worse left back and a guy who hasn't had a goal or an assist in a year. And you leave Gomez on the bench. I don't know what to think anymore. I know the Glazers are the big problem at United. And I'm glad that we heard that loud in Old Trafford today. I'm glad that the fans are leaving to show the empty seats, to show the disdain that the fans have towards the football that we're seeing. We want United back. You heard chants in Old Trafford. And I know Ed Woodward is the cause of all of it, as well as the Glazers. But Ole Gunnar Solskjaer there today Stood standing there with his arms crossed. I don't really care too much about the demeanours of managers on the side of the pitch. I think people look into that way too often. But he looks lost. He looks lost. And unfortunately for him, he's going to be the scapegoat. But at the same time, there's so much more I think he could be doing to coach this set of players better. Because 13 months into the job, it doesn't really look like these players are being coached whatsoever. I'm really at a loss tonight to get any sort of you can't get a positive out of losing to Burnley 2-0 at home. A team that hadn't won against the big, well, traditional big six this season. Go and beat us 2-0. Comfortably. The movement inside the box we had was non-existent. That was always going to happen, really, when Marcus Rashford's injury came. Just to add to the misery of being without Pogba and without McTominay as well. But that's as, as bad as it has been. And you're seeing vocal... Anger in Old Trafford, and I, you just you didn't see that under Moyes, you didn't see that under Van Hal, you didn't see that under Mourinho. As bad as it got, the fans still stayed in the ground. The fans still watched their team and supported the manager. But it's changing. The mood is changing, and United are such a dysfunctionally run club from top to bottom that it is massively affected the football on the pitch. We spent more than Liverpool have in the last few years, but look at that team and look at Liverpool, who are 30 points ahead of us in the Premier League. United are an utter shambles. From front to back, on the pitch. From top to bottom, off the pitch. Sacking a manager and replacing a manager, is that going to change it? No. It's going to put a plaster over the gaping wound that is United at the moment. Will anything change with the Glazers? In the last two years, if you look at their investment, the value hasn't changed. So they're crap investors. They could have taken that money out and went and made a load of money elsewhere. But they've never left the Tampa Bay Buccaneers since buying them. Woodward will never be sacked. 
by the Glazers. And until that status quo changes, whoever is in charge of United will be nothing more than a scapegoat that will ultimately be sacrificed for the next manager. And that is the stage it's now reaching for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer at United.